Hello and welcome back to another coffee tasting video. If it's your first time here, we are an Nespresso centric channel. We deal with the virtual line and the original line of Nespresso and some unboxings. I am your host Sterling Miller and if it is your first time here, consider hitting like, subscribe and hitting the bell notification so you're alerted anytime we drop a new video, which is every Tuesday. And for this week, It'll be Friday also. We're gonna have a double feature. Speaking of double features, wow, did you guys explode with the Il Cafe Espresso last week. I'll tell you, um, man, a lot of you purchased that. I hope it's as enjoyable. I know some of you ordered it uh, and already got it, tried it and posted back and loved it. If you were on the fence, just go down, read some of those comments for people that purchased it. And wow, outstanding coffee, very good. Strong, as somebody mentioned, they were a newer person to Nespresso. It is a stronger coffee or espresso, whichever way you wanna look at it. It is stronger. But that being said, for most people, if they've been with Nespresso for a while, it should be just an outstanding espresso. Somebody mentioned Paris Black. I honestly can't remember how Paris Black tasted. I just remember it was one of my favorites until they discontinued it. If Paris Black was one of your favorites, especially as an iced coffee, Il Cafe, I think it's gonna take and fill in nicely where we had kind of that void of Paris Black. Are they similar? I honestly can't say because I truly don't remember. I just remember Paris Black as being just an amazing espresso, good body, and great as an iced coffee. Moving on, we will have another brand new contest that's gonna start in December, similar to the coffee bar contest. So be looking forward to that. That I'm gonna try and get out to you the first week of December, and it will run for two solid weeks. So it'll give people plenty of time to get their photos in and stuff of what this topic is gonna be. It's actually a suggested topic from somebody in the comment section. And I thought that is such a good idea. That's what I'm gonna run with. So that'll be coming in December. And again, we should be getting into this week, maybe into next week yet, you should see your best deals on getting machines. I saw some of you posted that you picked up uh, some machines this last week that were on sale. Keep watching for that. If you're on the fence, now's probably gonna be one of the best, better times to buy this year until later on into the spring next year if you're gonna wait. And before we get to the main attraction, remember this is another video, as are all videos, where you can look for the word that does not fit. If you need any uh, further explanation on that, uh, you can jump over to our website. Uh, that's NespressoReview.com and you can look under contest and that will give you the rules and kind of how it works. Without further ado, we have this week's star attraction, which should sound remotely familiar, although different. It is the Amaretti flavor espresso. As you remember on the previous one, it was more of a cup of coffee kind of thing. So let's take a look at what they're saying here. Amaretti, here we go. The aromatic profile, the Flavors of this capsule, bittersweet almond and warming vanilla, layer over a neutral base of malted cereal. Well, there we go, a cereal again that I probably can't taste. The result is both zesty and comforting, at once embracing your palate and promising to lift your spirits. I think that's a little different description than we had on the other one. Interesting. Roasting the beans in variations Italia Amaretti are lightly roasted, preserving the malted cereal notes in the Brazilian coffee and releasing the finer aromatics of the Colombian beans. A fine grind adds to a bit of intensity to the blend. And again, all the flavors of it are artificial. Let's take a look at what they're saying here. Roastiness three. 
acidity three, bitterness three, and body three. And then we have a 1.35 ounce shot. All right, let's take a look at these capsules here. Yeah, pretty, yeah, pretty close to the other ones. So here's your capsule, very similar to the other one, has almost, almost a different hue to it, like a burgundy red, gold lines on it, just variations, Italia on the bottom. So again, unless you remember what these are in your drawer, they could get lost. Oh well, almond, vanilla, malted cereal, and lifting our spirits, Amaretti, Let's go brew a shot. Italia, Amaretti, round one, espresso setting. Let's get this going. All right, we got that shot done. Seems like the other one was a lot darker. Oh man. Wow, that has like a very Sweet. Yeah, it's got a really, really sweet almond smell to it. I don't know if I pick up on any vanilla, but man, that almond smell is wonderful. Let's go give this a taste. All right, I'm just going to fold in just a little bit of the crema here. Very, it looks and feels watery. So let's see what this shot tastes like here. Italia Amaretti original line, espresso setting. Let's give it a taste. That's not bad. Wow, that is very different than last week's I think last week really had an amaretto smell to it. That's very, that's very nice. It's smooth. Did they say body three? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it's got it. It looked watery when I was stirring it, but. It's very nice, very smooth. They mentioned, I think it was vanilla, vanilla and malted cereal. Um, I, I taste the almond and maybe that smooth kind of aftertaste has a little bit of vanilla in it. I am just gonna assume my taste buds are defective because I have trouble with cereal, malted cereal, cereal, Biscuit stuff. I don't know what it is. I just can't taste it. That's pretty good. It's got a little bit of bitter to it, but not unpleasant. A little bit, just like right on the tip of your tongue, just a little bit of bitter, but for the most part, sip, as you take a sip of the espresso, it's got a, a nice, pleasant, sweet taste to it with that almond and what I think is kind of a little bit of an aftertaste of vanilla. Yeah, that's very nice. Very nice. Let me see if, I was just looking to see if they recommended putting it with anything on the website and they really don't, but I think we should at least try it with just a little bit of milk. Turn it like maybe an ounce and a half or so and I kind of think we might play with just a little bit of vanilla in there just to enhance that vanilla. Yeah, that vanilla aftertaste. So I think we might play with that. I do believe my spirits are lifted a little bit. When thinking back to last week's version of this, I, I think this is a much better version. Again, those differences between virtual line and original line. Let's go round two, let's go brew another shot. Italia, 
Amaretti. I'm gonna get this going. This is just gonna be a regular three ounce, or excuse me, 1.35 ounce espresso. And then we're gonna, once it's done, we're gonna do an ounce and a half, but I'm gonna use the frother here. So I'm gonna get this carafe ready to go with the ounce and a half of milk. Add our steam milk in there. Ooh, that's about it. I'm not gonna be able to put the rest of the froth in. So we'll call that good just like that. I think I better say, let's go give this a taste before I spill it. <laughs> I guess it's pretty much stirred, except now I have some spills. Amaretti with an ounce and a half of milk. Let's give it a taste. That's pretty good. That's pretty good just like it is. The almond or amaretto type flavor that was so dominant in this one, that almond amaretto flavor that kind of came through in, sm or smell I should say, the really comes through on this. Not as much here, but it's very pleasantly smooth. It plays very nicely with milk. That's got a great just overall flavor. It's like a creamy, I guess I'll say creamy almond amaretto flavor, if that makes any sense. Really honestly tastes pretty good. I'm kind of wondering if I want to put just a teeny bit of vanilla. Hopefully I can do like, we got roughly three ounces here. So, so like let's do, basically about a half a pump. There we go. Give this a quick stir here. <laughs> oh, that's really good now. Ooh. This capsule, although it's an espresso, I think is going to be a lot more palatable to a lot of people. I know they mentioned the roastiness and the bitterness and the acidity, and I believe that's higher than last week's, but this overall, the overall blend, the, the flavor, this is really good. That tiny little pump of vanilla, That brings out just that little extra of the of the vanilla, but leaves that almond amaretto type flavor there. Wow. That is so interesting because they're labeled, they're, they're calling them the basically the same thing, and yet these two are dramatically different tastes. Interesting. I'm kind of tempted. I know we're into winter, but after tasting this vanilla and the texture that the milk brought out with it, I kind of think this might play out as an iced coffee really, really well. So I'm gonna go off camera, do an iced coffee. I'll be right back. Okay, so what I did was I brewed the shot straight into the ice. So that's gonna melt that just a little bit. Eight ounces of milk. I think for this size, we're gonna go two pumps of vanilla. Let's start with one. Impossible to take out, easier to add. Let's give this a little bit of a stir. Amaretti. For the original line, espresso pour, eight ounces of milk, one pump of vanilla. Let's give it a taste. Hmm. Hang on a minute. I just wanted to rinse because this was so creamy, 
thick. I felt like it was kind of messing with my taste buds on this one, so. Not bad. I think it. Hmm. It's okay. I think this. It's got a good flavor. I think you would almost need to put two capsules into it. This just doesn't quite. I grabbed one extra shot. I'm going to try adding it to it. To give it a good stir here to get the. Uh... It had with the one, you could still taste a little bit of the coffee coming through. It just was very, very light. And I'm not sure if a Lungo pour would solve that because I think it's going to get too, too runny. So let's give this a. That's better and it's not bad. For a different flavor, I think this would work. It's not bad, I, I just, I don't know if it quite works with the ice. It just doesn't quite keep that. See how this is. Yeah. Oh man. The creaminess and that wonderful warm, texture and taste of the vanilla and the almond and stuff is so dominant in that I thought it would hold out and carry through to this kind of just gets a little lost so well that was disappointing but not bad let's take a look at what they're doing here I was ready to go and take a look at the price and my wife said do you think it needs one more pump of vanilla to bring it out why not give it a shot let's give it one more pump She's the, she's the iced coffee connoisseur. She has an iced coffee almost every morning. And she mentioned at one point that she likes blended drinks, that she would like to show you guys her blended drink. So if you would like to see her show you her making, her show you making, yeah. Her show you making a blended drink Please hit like on this video and drop a comment and uh, maybe we can arrange that. Anyways, we got an extra pump of vanilla. She's behind the camera shaking her head no, but she'll do it. <laughs> all right, we got one extra pump of vanilla in there. I am just making a mess all over. Some of you, I know, I know, I got the napkin, but it's, it's, it's just a whole problem going on right now. All right, here we go. Two pumps of vanilla. Still just kind of... It just doesn't... It's got an okay flavor. You taste the flavors. I don't know. It just doesn't quite meld together like this does. Even though it's getting really, really cold, that still has a better flavor than this. And it could be just that it's watered down too much. It could be just there's too much milk. Yeah, it just doesn't seem to, it's okay. All right, let's take a look at what they're doing here. All righty, we got Nespresso Exclusives, Variations, Italia, Amaretti flavor, 80 cents a pod. While I'm filming this, it is out of stock. I can honestly see why. This one's pretty decent. Not bad at all. So where does this one land? Um, I would definitely say this one's a purchase. On its own merit, we have to go back to what did they recommend it as? Just as an espresso. There really isn't much else that they said to do with it on their site. Um, yes, again, I realize there's some alcoholic drinks. We addressed that last week that were... At this point, we're just not gonna blend things up uh, with alcohol in, on them with this channel right now. So as an espresso, this was really good. When we added the little bit of milk, ounce and a half of milk with vanilla, it was 
outstanding. It was really, really good. I would say this one's a purchase. Four out of five pods. Yeah. Yeah. What a difference from the virtual line. It really honestly shocks me sometimes the differences that we get in the virtual line. And I think we're going to get to test that theory out again on Friday. Differences between the two lines. So, yeah. Hey, it's a purchase. Four out of five pods. That'll bring us to a close of another video. I thank you so much for your time. Was there any secret words in here? I don't know if there was, maybe, maybe not. Go back and listen. If there's anything that you would like to see, whether it's for the virtual line or the original line, uh, providing it's with the Nespresso brand, uh, I'll do my best to get it out to you. To all my patrons yet again, thank you so much for supporting this channel directly. It does mean the world to me, and I know I say it every week, and I will always say it. Your direct support is awesome. It really does mean a lot, and I don't say that just in passing or just without thought. Every day I open up, I look at the app, I look at your private messages, I, I look at that stuff, and I, I it's humbling. That's all I got to say. It, it really is humbling. Um, and I thank you for that. If you'd like to support the channel directly, join us over on patreon.com forward slash IPON70. It's the same as the channel and you can support us that way. If you'd like, you can visit us over on nespressoreview.com. There's a consolidated list of all of the videos that we've done, all of the coffees that we've reviewed, uh, contest rules, winners, that kind of stuff, and a Patreon section. But until this Friday, have a great rest of your day.